Hey everybody, it's John DeYoung, and today I'm gonna to lay out a workout regimen for you, for your body type. It's the sugar insulin body type. Storing fat around the midsection, around the love handles. Obviously the culprit here is insulin. Now, insulin is important. It does uh, have an essential role in the body. Um, it facilitates the movement of glucose into the cells, uh, promotes muscle synthesis, and stimulates the growth of new cells. But as you know, too much insulin can result in excess fat storage, insulin resistance, becoming unhealthy metabolically, and it also makes it harder to lose weight. That's the kicker. <laughs> so movement and exercise are potent tools for increasing insulin sensitivity. Uh, weight training improves insulin sensitivity by non-insulin dependent glucose uptake as well as insulin dependent uptake. Now, in order for the glucose to move from your bloodstream into the muscles, insulin has to facilitate this. But muscle contractions do that as well, and they do it without the use of insulin. So that's what makes exercising so amazing and amazing for this body type. Weight training increases lean muscle mass, metabolic rate, and also enhanced insulin sensitivity. Now, let's talk about the benefit of cardio. Now, uh, the specific kind of cardio you should be doing would be interval training. It's sprint intervals. Um, this definitely depletes glycogen or also your carbohydrate stores in the muscle. Um, it's super time efficient. Uh, it increases aerobic capacity, increases insulin sensitivity, and it's great for optimizing the blood glucose response. Now, the intervals can be done sprinting on a, on a, a, a treadmill. What do you call that thing? <laughs> on the street. It can be done on a bicycle or row machine an elliptical machine, but the key is to really make the, the interval difficult. 20 to 30 seconds, gotta push, increase the resistance, increase the level of elevation. Um, but the reward is it's a really passive recovery, so it's all about the interval. Hard interval, stimulate the body, deep muscle contractions, you're gonna get your heart rate up. It's 20 to 30 seconds, and you get about a minute 15, a minute and a half recovery. Um, you're gonna probably do about Four to five intervals each sitting three days a week. Again, um, make sure you recover for each interval. So uh, uh, the sprint intervals, again, doesn't have to be on the street, doesn't have to be sprints at all. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a treadmill. You can use any kind of cardio equipment, but make the interval difficult. Passive recovery, catch your breath, heart rate comes down, hit that interval. Probably gonna start out again, four or five intervals in one sitting, three days a week, and then we're gonna combine that with resistance training. Now. Um, the, the resistance training you should be doing is high intensity resistance training. Um, this activates the type two muscle fibers uh, and this encourages the muscle to absorb blood glucose for use as fuel. Consequently, the blood glucose levels drop in your body. So you wanna set your workouts up to not be doing the same body parts back to back days. So try to do three days a week with resistance, three days a week with uh, your cardio. You can. You know, I'd rather split them up, um, not back-to-back -back days of either, uh, but you could do the same on both days as well. I would do the cardio after the resistance training. So um, so I like to break it up into a push-pull, okay? So you're gonna do probably four body parts. You're gonna go A1, which is your first exercise, a push. It could be a chest press, a shoulder press, an agility, pushing a medicine ball, that's A. A2 is gonna be a pull. We're gonna do seated rows, we're gonna do lat pull downs. Even a bicep is a pull, but we're gonna save the little muscles for like the next set of exercises. So A1, A2, push pull, okay? Three sets, 12 rep failure. You gotta find a weight that's, you could get to 12, but it's gotta be difficult, okay? And you can increase resistance as you get stronger, as you feel it's not as much as a, as a physical output. But right now, 12 rep, almost failure. I don't want you failing just yet. A1, A2, push, pull, three sets. B1, B2, you can combine an upper body, a lower body. So a tricep push down and do a leg press, uh, hamstrings, uh, squats, split squats, whatever you're, you know, wherever you are. You can look up my 30 day fitness challenge. Uh, there's 30 days of workouts in there. You could cherry pick exercises out of there that you feel comfortable with. You're gonna get instruction on there from me. You're gonna do them right. And you know you can match the equipment you have at home, or you can order some of them. Uh, I have some Amazon links on on all those videos to buy good equipment for cheap price. Okay, and that'll that'll really set you up and get you on your way for 
positive results losing that body fat loss. So get up and walk as much as you can during the day. Maybe set a, a goal for 10,000 steps. That really helps with insulin sensitivity. Uh, you got to get up off that chair. You do a little stretching. Um, I even have stretching videos on my, on my uh, channel. So there's a lot of instruction on there. It's important to do it right, but you can't mess up walking, but you can mess up stretching. So maybe check out the stretching video. Okay, guys, seems like a lot. Um, boil it down again, find exercises, change your workouts usually every four weeks, um, and increase your, your cardio output, your sprint intervals, as you feel that you're able to do. You know, you don't want to push it too hard. All right. All right, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck with all this. If you have any questions, put it in the messages, shoot me a comment, and uh, I'll see you soon.